My name is David Brown. I'm the Chief Executive of the Bristol Port Company. Quite rightly, on behalf of our shareholders, safety is my ultimate responsibility. On the short video that you will see, we'll explain the procedures and processes to ensure that you leave your operation today in a safe manner. Our safety culture is one where anyone, however junior, from the most junior apprentice to the most senior director, feels that they can flag up any issue that they see as hazardous. And I would strongly urge you to use your eyes, ears and nose if required to spot any hazard and then report it to the appropriate authority. Thank you for listening to this video and if you have any questions whatsoever, please take them up either with our safety manager or with any of the staff you see on the dock estate. Welcome to the Bristol Port Company. This induction will give you the information, instruction and training you need to work and move safely around the port estate. Although this is a full safety briefing, please note there are some areas which require further training and inductions. These include the aviation fuel terminal at berth 7, the oil basin at Avon Mouth and the C7 tunnel under the River Avon. If you are scheduled to work in any of these areas, Make sure you have organised the correct training with your Bristol Port Company contact. The Port Estate includes two docks separated by the River Avon. Avonmouth Dock is on the north side of the river and Royal Portbury Dock is on the south side. Minimum PPE required when working on the port is protective headwear, safety boots, high visibility clothing and safety glasses. Other PPE may be required for specific tasks or locations as determined by a task specific risk assessment. The site is secured and patrolled by the Port of Bristol Police who control all main entrances. All staff, however, should be vigilant of any threat of terrorism or security breach. Report anything suspicious immediately. At Avonmouth, the St Andrews Road Gate is open the whole year round, as is the Royal Portbury Dock Main Gate, which is also the police headquarters. If you require any assistance at any time whilst working on the estate, please go to either gate, which is always manned. The West Town Road Gate, off the A4 Portway, is open between 6am and 6pm Monday to Friday. Additional assistance is available through your contact at the port, or the Royal Portbury Dock Admin Block, or the Safety and Training Centre, which operate during business hours. There are canteens and toilets at both docks for the use of employees, contractors and visitors. You must not enter the operational areas or use keys for general access unless that is where you are working. Main spine roads must be used. The port has two container terminals, one at Avonmouth and one at Royal Portbury Dock. Both are restricted areas with access control in place when container vessels are on berth. As a multi-cargo port, Handling a number of different commodities and products, including cars, dry bulk products and break bulk cargo, it's especially important to be alert when working in operational areas. Care must be taken when moving around berths during car vessel discharges. Cars being loaded or unloaded have right of way. Dry bulk products include animal feed, coal, grain and wood pellet, whilst brake bulk cargoes include steel and forest products. Unauthorised persons should not enter any operational area or building without permission from the Bristol Port Company. Complying with customs requirements. In the event of suspicion of theft, burglary, smuggling in connection with customs related goods or customs excise and VAT fraud or errors in customs entries 
or suspicion of any mass declaration. All employees should raise their suspicions with the customs manager or port police promptly on 4444 internally or 0117 982 0000 from an external phone or mobile. The customs manager or port police will advise the police and HMRC as appropriate. Our receptionists can put you through to all areas. Most internal phones don't allow external calls, except for 999 calls. In the case of an emergency, contact the emergency services immediately on 999 and then call the port police on 4444 internally or 0117 982 0000 from an external phone or mobile. UHF frequencies are used for shoreside operations and VHF frequencies are used for marine operations. On the port UHF radios, channel 2 is the police and emergency channel. You will have seen in the news many items about cybersecurity attacks that have affected individuals, companies, infrastructure, organisations and even countries. The port has been identified by the government as part of a critical national infrastructure and we have been informed that the threat level to the port industry is high and rising. Whilst the port will do all it can to protect its systems from attack, it is essential that every employee contributes to security by following the 10 security tips given to you in the guidance document. The Bristol Port Company is legally bound by the Health and Safety at Work Act, especially sections 2 and 3. The health, safety and welfare of employees and contractors on site is paramount. In addition, the port is legally obliged to make sure that general members of the public are not exposed to health and safety risks. Equally, employees, including all contractors, are legally bound by the Health and Safety at Work Act, especially sections 7 and 8. All employees must take reasonable care for their health and safety on site and of other persons who may be affected by their work activities. Under the law, you are obliged to follow any safety rules in place and work to safe systems of work. Equally, you must not interfere with or misuse anything provided in the interests of health, safety or welfare. Other legislation may be applicable to your task or work area, including bylaws specific to the site. Smoking is prohibited in all areas of the port apart from the approved smoking zones where this sign is displayed. This includes e-cigarettes or vaping devices. Employees must not consume or be under the influence of alcohol on the port estate. If anyone is suspected to be under the influence of alcohol, the Port of Bristol Police may request a breath test. The Bristol Port Company has a zero tolerance policy on the use and supply of illegal drugs. Random drug testing is carried out for port employees. Please report suspicious activity and help us by supporting any prosecution. It is prohibited to purchase goods from ship's personnel. Cigarettes and alcohol will not be duty paid and may be counterfeit. The port works with customs to proactively prohibit the movement of contraband goods off the docks. If you are caught breaking the law, you could be prosecuted. If found guilty of breaking port bylaws, you could be prohibited from working on the estate or face disciplinary action. You must not bring animals onto the port estate. Children are not allowed on site unless they are part of an organised escorted tour or are visiting family members or a crew of a visiting vessel. The disposal of waste is carefully controlled. All general waste must be disposed of in an appropriate receptacle. Any industrial waste generated by contractors must be disposed of off-site or in contractor skips. Under no circumstances should any waste be thrown into the dock or river. 
Vehicles, including heavy plant, are subject to the port's bylaws. There are regular searches of cars and lorries at the port's entrances. The speed limit is 20 miles per hour and on site, it's expected that all signs and signals will be obeyed. Unless permitted, vehicles should not be taken into operational areas. It's especially important not to drive along key walls and berth edges unless your task requires you to do so. All vehicles should be parked in car parks. Never obstruct operational areas, including pedestrian walkways, crane or rail lines, or block entrances and exits. Contractors will need a pass from their port contact to move plant and equipment off-site. Normal rules apply regarding the transportation of secured loads. Copies of the bylaws can be seen at both police gates or on our website. The Port of Bristol Police is a non-home office force of uniformed, warranted constables with the powers of stop and search of both you and your vehicle, and arrest. You should comply with any lawful request made of you by one of the port's officers. Our police officers implement the International Ship and Port Facility Security Code, a set of measures to improve security at ports, and will regulate certain designations of ship requiring maximum security levels whilst on berth. This includes the use of a pass system. In the case of an emergency, contact the emergency services immediately on 999. Then call the port police on 4444 internally and 0117 982 0000 from a mobile. The port has its own ambulance but in a serious medical emergency, it's important to dial 999 first and request an external ambulance. The port ambulance will provide first cover until paramedics arrive. For minor injuries and medical assistance, there are medical centres at Avonmouth and Royal Portbury Dock. More than one in five of the workforce is first aid trained. These individuals can be identified by their green first aid hard hats. If you spot a large fire or other emergency, raise the alarm immediately and call 999, giving the fire brigade your location on the port. Make sure you're aware of fire assembly points. You can find these via on-site signs and from the Port Emergency Action Card. For very small fires or to aid your escape, use a fire extinguisher. Be aware of the colour coding on the fire extinguishers and report all accidents and near misses to your port manager. The port is covered by a warning system which provides an audible alert for hazardous chemical spillages or other related incidents. This is known as a seven-side siren system and can be heard across the local area. Please take note of the different siren sounds as they denote an alert warning and an all clear. The system is tested on the third day of each month at 3pm. The siren test consists of three minutes of the alert warning one minute silence followed by one minute of the all clear. On notification of a significant incident, the seven side sirens alert warning will be sounded. You must go indoors. Stay indoors with all windows, doors and vehicle vents shut. Tune into the local radio station and await further instructions and information. If the sirens haven't kept you awake, then this section will. Please pay attention. The port is a high hazard area, but by working in a safe manner, it should be a low risk place of work. The port uses a permit to work system to control hazardous work on site. The type of permit required will depend on the task and location of work. Contractors must be on the approved contractors list and if carrying out hot work, must have the correct insurance before starting. 
All work must be properly planned, and you must have an up-to-date risk assessment and method statement for the task. Permits will be issued by your Bristol Port Company contact. A hazard is anything with the potential to cause harm. This includes substances, plant or machines, poor methods of work, the working environment and poor communications. Hazardous areas include tidal areas, the River Avon, the C7 tunnel under the River Avon, the dry dock, the oil basin berth 7, the bulk terminal and confined spaces. You should not enter hazardous areas unless authorised and understand the control measures in place to reduce the risk. Walking on site means being alert to traffic, heavy moving plant, overhead equipment and unexpected location layouts, especially near water. Safe walking routes may be indicated by yellow hatched tram lines or black and white sections. In Royal Portbury Dock, there are around 700,000 car movements a year, and moving equipment and machinery operates on key walls and near sheds. Be very aware of overhead operations, especially when moving along key walls or in container storage areas, and never approach or cross the path of a machine until you are sure the operator has seen you and is aware of your intentions. Rail freight lines operate across the port. All level crossings on site are open crossings. Flashing lights and sirens indicate when trains are moving. Signs at each crossing will tell you if you must stop and wait or if you can proceed with caution. A rail safety card will be given to you at the end of this session. Mobile phones must not be used while driving or operating plant and cannot be taken into the oil basin berth 7. Mobile phones must be switched off in EX risk areas. iPods and personal music devices must not be used in any operational areas. Mobile plant must only be used by qualified persons. Any plant left unattended should be secured with keys removed. Passengers should not be carried unless there is a trainee under instruction. Ear protection, an RPE, is required in some areas where noise and dust levels are high. Check for signs. Unless you are a marine operative, please stay away from any area of Bristol Port that has water. This includes the docks and locks. Water is a hazard. If you do have to operate near water, you must wear a 150 Newton life jacket if you are working a metre from the key edge. If you fall into the water, there are safety chains and ladders set back in the key wall for you to climb out. If you see someone else fall in, use the life rings provided. If a vessel is mooring on berth or unberthing, do not go near it. Always avoid walking close to bollards with lines on them. Do not go near them. In the case of an emergency, contact the emergency services immediately on 999, then call the port police on 4444 internally and on 0117 982 0000 from a mobile. When boarding vessels, use the gangway or ship's ramp. Never step across the gap. If you drop something into the water, ensure you inform the Bristol Port Company. Hazardous cargoes are identified by a diamond warning sign. The port handles all classes of hazardous material. It's very important to immediately report any leakage or smell coming from any cargo to a supervisor or manager and keep at a safe distance. Disease may be present in rats that nest in the port, so always cover any cuts and grazes, dispose of food in waste bins and practice good hygiene. If you get flu-like symptoms, tell your doctor you have been working in areas where rats live. The Bristol Port Company 
does not under any circumstances expect you to put yourself or anybody else at risk. If you do see anything you think is unsafe or could be made safer, please report it to the Bristol Port Company and complete a hazard observation card. These are available at numerous locations around the port. All boxes are emptied weekly and issues logged and addressed. If you provide your name and contact details, your suggestion could also win you a prize as a company's way of saying thank you for keeping your eyes open to hazards that we can remove from the workplace. Remember, safety comes first, always make sure you are authorised to enter operational areas, always seek advice from Bristol Port supervisors or managers if uncertain, always be alert to risks on site. Your safety is Bristol Port Company's priority. Please follow rules and procedures and report any unsafe acts, practices and conditions. Help us to help you have a safe, enjoyable experience. Thank you.